Oh, I'm sorry, wrong game here. Uh, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Sleep Snake with another video today. Today, guys, we're gonna be going over the post score, my post score animation, my big man animations. Uh, I know you guys have been wanting to know what uh, what I do for my shooting animations, all my post scoring um, animations, post hop shots, everything like that. I know you guys wanted that, so it's gonna be a quick video. Uh, so I'm just gonna be going over the little annies and dunks that I have. So yeah, let's just let's just straight into it. So uh oh yeah, if y'all want more 2K videos, hit that like button and subscribe. And let's get let's get some subscribers. Where's subscriber go? Y'all looking like 2,000 subscribers for jump shot? 2,000 subscribers for jump shot, man. 2,000 subscribers for jump shot. But right here, uh, free throw, Ray Allen, um, dribble pull up, Dirk. Ray Allen's actually pretty good for big man because it's hard for my big man to sh uh, shoot free throws. Cause I have like a 50 something free throw, uh, but all my shooting stats are pretty much uh, up there. Uh, my spin jumper is big two, hot jumper James Harden. Uh, my post phase now, this is what we're really gonna get into now. Fade eight and fade three. It made me, it was real hard to pick these one, uh, one of these two phase. These phase are really good and they both contain a lot of space now. I would say both of them do push the defender off of you so you can get that more space open. But Fade 3, I think it gives the more, most space as you can and it's the most consistent with the greening. Uh, that's what I want. I don't want whites. I want greens. And I think this gives the most consistent uh, space. Like, this period. Now, Fade 8, this it gives you a lot of space. There's a lot of things you can do with Fade 8. Um... But there are different animations with the fade A and fade three. The fade three, you pull it up from your waist to fade A. You just come from the straight from the side, pull it up, uh, and fade away. Now fade three, as you see from right there, you turn around, pull it up from the waist, you have the ball security, and you turn around fully and do the fade, which gives you more space. Before that, you will push the defender off and you will have a lot of space, guys. Now, post hook, hook five and hook three. I tried that for a lot. Now I ain't gonna lie, hook three is actually pretty good, so I do recommend using hook three or hook five. I use hook five because um, the defender usually takes long, takes like right when you do a post move, they tend to try to jump at you, which this has a longer animation, but also a quick release. So a longer animation with turning around, but the quick release with your arms, so that gives you a good time to this space. Give some space and get a lot of hooks. Hooks are OP this year, so you really don't have like hook three, hook five. I will go with either or. Um, post hop shot seven. Post hop shots. I used to do these in 2K19 so much with my uh, shot grade, uh, post score and shot creator. Or shot grade post, yeah, shot grade and post score. And dude, uh, it was so hard to figure out which one that I wanted and which one gives me the most space and just which one gives me the most consistent greens. Now, Post Hop 5, I just didn't like the animation. It didn't feel smooth to me. It didn't feel good. I didn't I didn't like it at all. It wasn't it wasn't juicy. It wasn't flow. It didn't flow. Post Hop Shot 6. Um it was okay. It felt a little bit, you know, stiff. I really didn't like that little stiff mo movement. Um it gives quite a bit of a space. Last year defender off. Uh but I really didn't like that uh that movement. Now post hop shot seven. Post hop seven post hop shot seven actually gives you a good amount of space and it smooths. Once you do the hop shot, it gives you that space and you just go straight up. And uh that's what I really like. I want that smooth movement right when I do the hop shot. I post back, I step back in the post move. I'll just go straight up and that's what I want. And uh it feels great and I love it. And uh yeah, I recommend post hop shot seven. If you want any other post hop shot, that's perfectly fine. But I highly recommend Hot Shot 7 because that's real good. Now, Shimmy Fade 2, I, I usually, uh, I did a lot of shimmies in 2K19. I really don't do it much this year. Um, but Shimmy Fade 8 and Shimmy Fade 2, I tried to Fade 8 for Shimmy Fade. Uh, it, it's decent. Fade 2, I think it's the best because it gives you the most space. That's what you want as a post score. That's what I've been talking about pretty much with every animation. You want the most space as possible. So I highly recommend Fade 2. Uh, so shimmy hook three, I just went with shimmy hook three because it's literally uh, what I recommend. I really don't usually do shimmy hooks, uh, and it gives you a lot of space with the fast animation with the hooks. I want the fast animation with the hooks. That's what I like, and um, hooks are OP this year. So make sure you find a good hook animation. I highly recommend this one, and uh, I think it is the best. 
Now, uh, the dribble moves, you know, I just have the basic stuff on. I did, I put on normal three for the behind the back. I really hadn't changed anything because uh, there's really no point for me to change anything. I'm not going to be that uh, doing that much gym moves. dribble moves. Excuse me. Uh, I might do on the ones court. I might dribble a little bit. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I would usually do behind the backs to get some space and do a momentum coming up the court or anything like that. But that's pretty much it. Uh, my dunks and layups, you know, guys, I don't get a layup, so it gets default big. Uh, under the basket, rim pulls. Under the basket, ask, let it finishes. Big man off two and regular. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Wait, why is there a space right here? Okay, uh, I don't know why I don't have two dunks on. But, uh,. All right, that's 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 the press. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, sub, and subscribe, and uh, just support your boy. If you want more 2K videos, uh, and you want this post score build, this build is 73. Uh, and I will go more over the build if y'all want it. Just like the hit the like button and comment down below. Just let me know, guys, and I'll see you guys later. I'm out this baby. Have an amazing day and keep 100. I'm out. Peace, peace.